We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this Brother MFC L9550 printer. And we're going to show you how to replace the drum unit. So if you've been getting a replaced drum unit warning, we're going to show you how to get that taken care of. It's a very simple process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to lower this front cover. So we're going to push on this big button at the top of the printer, pull straight out until it's in this open locked position. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab this number one handle at the front. You're going to pull straight out until it comes to a stop. Now when you look at the left side here, you're going to see this little switch. It's marked number two. You're going to take that switch and you're going to push it over to the left. It should be about a quarter of a turn and it should stay into place. Once you do that, you're going to grab the number one handle. And then the back here, there's a handle marked number three. You're going to go ahead and grab that as well. You're going to lift up on the number one handle to about 45 degrees and then gently remove the entire drum and toners from the printer. So now that we have all this removed, I'm going to go ahead and remove all my toners from the drum and set them on a clean, dry, flat surface. Okay. So now, once you have your new drum unpacked and ready to go, you're going to again grab it by the one and three handles, and you're going to want to install it the same way. You're going to want to start up at an angle, set them in, and then go back to your number two switch here and push it back to the right until it's in a vertical position. It should click down, and once that happens, you shouldn't be able to pull this tray back out. It should be locked into place. Now we can put our toners into our new drum. So just one at a time, carefully set each one in. And make sure you lock them back down into place. So make sure you set the toner in and pull back on each one so that it clicks and locks it into position. Okay, so now we have all four of our toners installed into our new drum. You're gonna grab the number one handle, push this all the way inside the printer. We're going to close this front cover into its locked position. We're going to give the printer a second to initialize and come back to a normal ready state. And now that we've replaced the drum, we need to tell the printer that we've reset the drum, or replace the drum rather, and then we'll reset that count and that'll take care of the error message that we're getting. So give me one second, we'll come back once this printer's ready and we'll show you how to reset that drum counter. Okay, so now the printer's come back to its normal ready state. So now we need to tell the printer that we replaced the drum. That way we can get rid of the error message that we're getting. So what you're going to want to do is on the top right hand side of the control panel, there's a little button that looks like a wrench and a screwdriver. You're going to push on that button. That's where you're going to take you to your settings menu. And then at the bottom right hand corner, you're going to find an option marked all settings. Go and click all settings. Now we're going to use the little arrow keys down here. Let's scroll down until we find machine info. Once you find machine info, go ahead and click on that tab. So now we're going to go down and we're going to look down the list until we find parts life. Select parts life. Now this is what throws off most people. Once we get onto that screen, we're going to go over to the side here and push somewhere where the number pad is. And you'll see the number pad light up. You're going to find the pound key. And you're going to press and hold the pound key. And you're going to hold it until you're going to see the screen change and it's going to show up with a reset menu. So once we access the reset menu, you're going to see there's two options. There's going to be drum and built unit. In this case, we replaced our drum, so you're going to select drum. It's going to ask you to replace the drum. And click yes or no. So if you can replace the drum, go ahead and click yes. That's going to reset that counter inside your printer, and that's going to get rid of the error message, and it won't come back until it's time to replace that drum unit again. So it's very simple. There is a few steps to it, but it's not. there's nothing difficult about it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. Also, if there's any way we can help provide you with any of your printer or office supply needs, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'll love to help supply this for you as well. We hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. 
We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.